Hello guys, I'm Dr. Magesh Tarnal Karasu. I welcome you all back to this uh, new session. I know it's been a long time uh, since I made my last video uh, because I just got held up at my work uh, because of uh, crazy COVID. And now here I am. Uh, let's make this uh, uh, session today useful. And the topic for today's discussion is chest pain. Uh, why I'm making this chest pain series is because uh, from my previous video on chest pain, a lot of people, you know, uh, have asked me so many questions, uh, you know, how to differentiate chest pain from heart or from lungs or from the other organs in your chest uh, and when to go see a doctor, how to get it uh, managed uh, at home and uh, things like that. So this topic is for that okay you want to get all the answers uh, to your question so please make sure you watch this video without skipping all right so if you have not subscribed to my channel yet please go ahead and hit the subscription button do like this video or leave a comment down below if you like this channel or video okay chest pain uh, chest pain like you know it's the most common complaint that uh, most people uh, you know complained of when they come into clinic whether the pain is coming from the heart lungs or from the bones skin so they do not know they just have only complaint of chest pain and we just as a doctor we have to make sure you know what this patient is complaining of whether this chest pain is coming from the skin or from the bones or from the nerves or from the muscles or from the lungs or from the covering of the lungs or from the heart itself things like that there are so many organs in our chest right and you go from superficial to the deep we have a skin and then under skin we have a cute um, fatty layer and then we have a uh, rib cages bones and then we have a uh, breast bones like a sternum we have here and uh, down below that we have uh, both sides lungs and uh, with covering of the lungs uh, pleura and then in between the lungs we have a heart and its heart layer okay these are the sources when any of these organs are get inflamed or infected or something goes wrong you get pain okay so when i see a patient with chest pain i would always you know put in some leading questions uh, to uh, navigate or to differentiate or narrow down the possible causes of chest pain anytime when patient complains of uh, pain or chest pain or headache whatever stomach pain leg pain any pain we have to uh, put these leading questions to our patient you have to remember the sicora sight is more important okay where the pain is whether it is in the left side of the heart or on the right side of the chest whether the pain is like so severe or a dull pain or a tabbing pain or sharp pain or pressure like kind of discomfort something like that and the intensity of pain is very important s i q o r a a a s for sight and i for intensity of the pain you know we always ask uh, we, we ask our patient uh, to uh, grade the pain on a scale of 1 to 10 where 1 being the least or 10 being the worst pain uh, you ever had so so 1 to 10 a patient would say doctor you know yesterday it was a uh, 2 2 over 10 now it is 6 over 10 which means that the pain has gotten worse so that gives us a clue and next thing is q q is quality of pain when you try to mention the quality patient would say doctor you know this pain feels like a stabbing pain as if you you get stabbed by a knife or some people would say uh, and it's a pricking kind of a pain doctor it just comes in and then goes comes and goes like that or sometimes they would say pressure like you know as i feel like someone is standing on my chest that is a quality and the onset of pain s i q o o is onset when did the pain start okay whether the pain started uh, uh, gradually or the pain started right away onset is a uh, uh, slow or the fast onset some people they complain of pain starts slowly and then builds up or some people they say uh, pain started right at uh, 8 or over 10 some people would say a uh, pain started at uh, 1 to 1 over 10 and then it slowly progressed to 6 over 10 that's what they would say and then the radiation sicora r stands for radiation whether the pain radiates elsewhere Sometimes what happens in a chest pain that comes from the heart, that pain may radiate into the jaw or sometimes may radiate into the neck or may radiate into the left arms. Okay, things like that. And associated factors, S I Q O R A is associated factors. We always have to put in this kind of questions. And do you have any other associated symptoms with this chest pain like a nausea or vomiting? or uh, shortness of breath because shortness of breath is more com most commonly associated with your pain that comes from your heart 
nausea vomiting can also be associated with the heart and that nausea vomiting can also be associated with your tummy stomach problem so nausea vomiting shortness of breath or excessive sweating or um, uh, palpitation whether you feel that your heart is beating too fast or any tiredness and uh, or any giddiness these are the associated symptoms and the second a is alleviating factor what makes your pain go away does anything make your pain better things like uh, you are taking some medication that does it go does it make your pain uh, getting better or uh, the other the third a is uh, aggravating factor what makes your pain worse like when you are doing some work or when you climb stairs so when you exert yourself does the pain get worse so these are the things s a q o r a a a sicora okay when you're done with it so whether the pain comes from the uh, heart the causes of uh, chest pain from the heart there are many causes emergency causes are like a um, heart attack which uh, what we call it is a myocardial infarction or myocardial ischemia okay this kind of uh, pain patient would come complain of a uh, burning or a pressure like discomfort that uh, starts slowly and then uh, it builds up this kind of heart pain does not come right away and goes off it won't come just like that it just comes and stays there for like at least 20 minutes or even more than longer than that okay and they always have associated conditions like associated symptoms like uh, nausea vomiting will be there sometimes they have also complain of uh, shortness of breath or um, palpitation when they feel that the heart is beating too fast or and associated with the excessive sweating and the dizziness or giddiness they will complain of okay this is uh, one of the uh, causes of your heart related chest pain and uh, there is other condition called uh, aortic dissection in which aortic dissection means the aorta it's a big blood vessel that comes right off your heart what happens in aortic dissection the there is a crack in the layers of the, your blood vessel so what happens is the blood the because of high blood pressure it uh, try to seeps into the crack in between the layers and then the crack goes deeper and deeper and extends down that causes a <coughs> severe chest pain okay and uh, other mild causes like angina angina is a medical term in which uh, people <coughs> get chest pain when they work out or when they do some work when they exert themselves they get that chest pain when they sit and relax they don't get any pain that is called angina this angina can be stable or unstable okay the difference between angina and a heart attack heart attack happens because of total loss of blood supply to the heart muscles but in angina there is a poor blood supply because blood supply is half but in, in heart attack there is a total loss of blood supply in angina there is a poor blood supply to the heart muscles and this there some there are many other causes uh, that uh, heart can cause chest pain like you know, myocardial infarction that is heart attack uh, and um, uh, this uh, dissection of iota and uh, some there there is another condition called pericarditis pericarditis is a, a layer of heart that gets inflamed and causes pain when you change your body position many people say that uh, their pain gets better when they lean forward okay so it could happen in uh, pericarditis and what are the other organ related causes for chest pain uh, when you take lung related causes pulmonary embolism pulmonary embolism means there is a clot gets detached somewhere and then goes into the blood vessels in your lungs and sits somewhere and blocks the blood supply to the distant lung tissues in a short manner there is a blood clot in the blood vessels of your lungs that causes uh, loss of blood supply in your lungs that is called pulmonary embolism this is an emergency condition or there may be other causes like simple pneumonia inflammation of lungs can cause chest pain or it can be uh, pleurisy like inflammation of your uh, coverings of your lungs that can be a cause of uh, chest pain and uh, stomach causes uh, digestive causes like uh, uh, or acid reflux where there is a connection between uh, your um, throat and your stomach which is a food pipe at the end of the food pipe uh, we have uh, something called a lower esophageal sphincter that prevents the acid coming up from the uh, stomach into your food pipe this can be a digestive causes of chest pain this is like a, a GERD 
or sometimes there can be uh, infection or inflammation in your gallbladder or things like that that are cholelithiasis we call it gallstones or uh, there can be a problem in your food pipe itself there can be an inflammation or infection of your food pipe so heart digestive causes and your lung causes are over and there are other causes of chest pain as well uh, it could be a simple uh, you know, panic attack people comes in with a panic attack to emergency department they complain of chest pain and then they also have uh, excessive sweating and they also complain of uh, heart beating too fast in addition to this they also have a complaint of fear of uh, dying okay this panic attack can happen in a young age like mostly male or female female is a predominant and uh, there is another cause of uh, chest pain uh, what do you call it is shingles this shingles is a reactivation of the chickenpox viruses because of that what happens uh, uh, these people develop chest pain in addition to chest pain they also have a uh, my small small blisters in a form of band in this area or over this area okay that is called a reactivation of the chickenpox viruses i hope uh, i have uh, discussed a little bit about chest pain and i would like to continue this uh, session in our next video we will discuss on uh, how do we diagnose and how do we manage this uh, chest pain uh, so i'll see you all back uh, in our next session so until then i'm signing out it's dr magesh tanakar bye bye guys see you soon